times you're going to be asked to share your Excel file with someone. Now the most obvious way to do it, the way most of us do, is we go over here to the file ribbon and we do save or save as and we can, for example, if I choose save as, I can choose to save it to a thumb drive or to a location that they can access if we are on the same computer network at work. You might have a share drive. But there are some other ways that I can do it that you might not be aware of. So I'm going to cancel out of here. Another way you might do this is Excel has some built-in functions for it. You may not have seen this yet, but I'm going to show you over on the file ribbon. You have save and send. Now if I click on that, you'll notice I have several options to save and send the file. First of all is using email. So I can send it via email right here. And notice if I have using email up, over here on the right, I can attach it as a regular attachment in an email. I can send a link to it if someone can access it through the link. I can send it as a PDF if they don't have Excel. I might be sending it to them as a PDF for them to read it. XPS is a similar format to a PDF. And you can also send it as an internet fax. Notice that if you're using an internet fax, you need a fax service provider. I can also do this by saving it to the web. Notice if I click on Save to Web, it says Learn More About Microsoft SkyDrive and Save to Microsoft SkyDrive. Now, SkyDrive is what Microsoft initially called this, but we're talking about OneDrive. So, it says here I can sign up for Microsoft SkyDrive if I don't have one, or I can sign in. I happen to have a OneDrive account, so I'll sign in. And it wants my email. And I'll just log in. And now it has found my OneDrive account. I'm going to just put it in the Documents folder, so I'll double click on that. and it gives me my documents folder where I can go on and save this file. So I will click Save. And it's going to save it to my OneDrive account. Now I've saved it to my OneDrive and I'm going to go back over here to the File ribbon and come down to Save and Send. And you'll notice if I go over to Save to Web, of course my OneDrive is there. and if you'll notice under the Documents folder, it says Shared with Just Me. Now, I can put it on OneDrive and I have access to it anywhere I can access the Internet, or I can create on OneDrive a folder that is shared with other people, and I would put it in a folder like that if I'm sharing it with someone else. Another way I could do this is to save to SharePoint. So if you have SharePoint set up for you to share various files with other people, this is another option. Now you also might be asked to send Excel files to someone in a different file format. Maybe they don't have Excel or they want to use it in an application besides Excel. So you'll notice in my Save and Send I have Change File Type. And over here on the right we see different file types we can send as. Obviously there's the Excel formats, the XLSX and the XLS. And there are also other formats available to us. One of the most common file types would be a CSV. You also may be asked to send it as a text file. And there are a few other file formats here, but those are probably your more common ones. And there is the option for save as another file type. So we can see the different file types available to us. I'm going to go somewhere else where this is available. Here I would have just clicked on one of them and clicked the Save As. But odds are you're going to initially just go over to File and choose Save As over here on the left. So I'm going to click on Save As and my Save As dialog box is going to pop up. And notice down here it says Save As Type and I'll click on the drop down. And you can see here there are a lot more options than we saw in the previous screen. I have several Excel options. I also have the text option. There are actually two text options here. And there is the CSV. CSV separates your fields with commas. So often that is what they'll request and they might be going to import maybe a contacts list into Outlook, for example. If I click on CSV, then I just save the file as a CSV file. 
and then let's say I'm going to send it into Outlook. I would open Outlook and go into my file area of Outlook and choose the import options under file. So you can see Excel gives you lots of options for sharing or sending your files to other people. Thank you.